Hi there, folks, and welcome to this episode of Michael's Backyard Marina. If you're watching this midweek, it's Wednesday. Uh, you guys gave me such a great response on the rivet tool that I showed you last week that uh, I didn't want to make you wait a whole another week to see another video. And thank you for every all the thumbs up and the subscribes and the shares and everything you guys are doing for the channel. It's much appreciated. I wanted to show you another tool that you can use somewhere. This is a handheld bandsaw. It's a pretty deep throat. It's got a half inch blade in it, fine tooth. Uh, I've used this quite a bit. I've had it for about four months now. And I bought it originally when I set up in the back of my shop here, you see there's pallet racking that I had to cut off to a specific height. And yeah, plasma cutter does okay. This for cutting this type of metal does better. It makes a cleaner cut that doesn't make it all nasty looking, you know? So I've been bandsawing quite a bit of, quite a few things around here. In my last video, you saw me bandsaw the, the angle for the upright trailer where the lights come on. Uh, I did that, I used it for that and it was awesome. So this time I've got some metal out in the backyard. Some of it's scrap, some of it's good metal that I wanna harvest and reuse, repurpose, cause I like to, you know, repurpose that stuff. I don't like to waste uh, steel, it's expensive. So if I gotta grind a little paint before I weld something, I'm good with that because with, if it's got paint on it, that part's not gonna rust. All I gotta do is touch up the, you know, unless it's lime green, which there's some stuff we're getting ready to see that's lime green. But anyway, we're gonna get out here and cut some stuff. We're gonna see how long, this is the original blade that I put in here when I bought this. And I bought, I ain't kidding you, I bought four other blades. I think I have, I actually have five of the blades now because I thought no way this blade's gonna last from Harbor Freight. And so far it's actually lasted. I've actually accidentally twisted it and pulled it off the, the rollers a few times and sure enough, it still holds together. I put it back on, keep cutting. No twists or tweaks in the blade. So this is a, I'm not sponsored by them but Harbor Freight needs to start, you know, kicking some stuff my way because I bring their name up a little too often. This is a Bauer built, or Bauer brand. But anyway, I always like to share stuff with you guys and I wouldn't share it with you if I didn't think it was worthwhile sharing it with you. And I can't get this cord to stay in my hand. Okay, here we go. It's in control. So let's get a drop cord drug out the back and I'm gonna show you all the stuff we're gonna cut up and we're gonna get after it. And I'll put you in time lapse to just kind of see how much stuff I'm gonna cut up. And I've only got like another, what time is it? It's 5 45 it gets dark about 7 30. i don't have much daylight left let's see how much i can get cut up today and then we'll jump back in and i'll probably do some more time lapse the next day because i need to get all this stuff cut up one of them is going to be very enjoyable let me tell you you guys remember the the, the john boat the black john boat uh, polar craft i drug home on this completely horrible trailer <laughs> i'm cutting it up and i'm cutting it up with this and I don't know if you'll be able to mule kick the smile off my face when I'm cutting this thing up because it's like, heck yeah, this piece of junk will never harm another person, period. All right, let's get busy. All right, the first thing we're gonna cut up is this rack here. This was a rack that was at my place of business and where I work and they decided we swapped some things out, did some different things for material. And this has got a lot of good tubing in it yet, but there is a lot of things welded together. And this took me a long time to weld this together. And then I painted it. And then, you know, three years later, we decided to do something different because this has outlived its usefulness. So we're gonna go after the bandsaw with this, after this with that bandsaw. And let's just see how long it takes. And I'll start the timer on my phone. Yep, there we go. Reset, start. I'm gonna start it now, and I haven't even drug out the drop cord yet. And let's just see what it takes to get it done.
Okay, guys and gals, we've been sawing on this thing for two hours. I did it two different evenings. That's why you're gonna see two different costume changes and yet a third one tonight. And this, this all goes in line with what I said in the earlier videos. If you do, you work on your project for one hour a day, every day, as an average, you get 365 hours worth of stuff done every year. That's a lot of hours on a project or multiple projects. Anyway, the, the current feedback, I'm on the third blade on this saw. I switched it out toward the end of the second hour. Uh, we've made literally hundreds of cuts. This blade has popped off the rollers probably a dozen times, but it's no fault to the tool. It's to me, the twisting and turning and everything I'm doing awkwardly to it, you know, sawing something apart like this. It gets pinched, it does all kinds of weird stuff, right? But we're getting through it. We're making this into a, a nice little metal pile over here on my trailer that I can use for other stuff in the future. That's the goal here, is just to turn it into some usable material for future projects. I don't have anything in mind for it right now. Now I'll get down to the bottom, <coughs> or excuse me, the bottom framework here, and I'll determine how much of that I'm gonna save because it has a whole bunch of holes down this side where these rods went into where I welded them into place. And I could grind all that off and salvage this tube and make it into something, you know, that doesn't have to have all the structural soundness it needs as a good unmolested tube. We'll just see. So right now I'm going to finish cutting this stuff off with a third blade that's installed toward the end of last, you know, the, the second hour. And uh, we'll flip this thing around, see if I can do some more cutting, and then I'll determine whether, where I'm stopping. But stay tuned, don't go anywhere. The cutting up of the trailer, the old John Boat trailer that wouldn't let me do over 50 miles an hour coming home is gonna meet the Bauer bandsaw blade and me. And I'm gonna, there might be some crazy moments in there where I just go nuts laughing and crazy eyes because I'm going to enjoy cutting that up so much. Hang tight. It's worth it. Maybe, maybe not, but hang in there, folks. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and keep me going and growing. Let's cut this up. My back needed a break and I couldn't wait any longer. <laughs> Let's start cutting on this thing. Where do we wanna, where do I wanna make my first incision, Doc? Wherever makes you happiest there, Michael. All right. Here we go, here we go, here we go again. <laughs> oh yeah. Die trailer, die. <laughs> Here, whoa, but don't take away this. Here we go. <laughs> Boy, I honestly don't think you could go faster with a plasma cutter. This is just, for this thin tubing and it's just walking through it. What's that you say, Mr. Mr. Guideboard? Don't cut me? Okay, I won't. <laughs> oh, it shouldn't, it shouldn't feel this good. What? Angle iron? Wow, that surprises me. What's this hook to? Ugh. Something. Huh. Well, let's just make that go away. Let 
go, my saw. Put a little kinker in the blade there, it did. Let's just see how good it cuts still. Oh yeah. Back in business. Well, folks, what I'm standing in the middle of is what you would call was trailer. It's a trailer no more. It's in pieces that are very manageable, easy, and will take up a lot less space. And it relieved me of a lot of stress. It was awesome. I'll tell you what that saw is, is pretty darn cool. Uh, if you got any metal cutting in your future, I would highly recommend it. Harbor Freight, if you're listening, Take care of your boy here. Either way, whether Harbor Freight takes care of me, I'm taking care of you guys by letting you know what the trip hazard is going on here. Letting you guys know if you need a saw, I'm currently on my fourth blade. No, this thing was equivalent to buying a chainsaw. What I've done with it so far is buying a chainsaw and then just go right out and be a lumberjack because as you can see here, I'm not going to waste your time. You guys see how, how fast this green thing I cut up progressed. You saw how fast I worked through the trailer. It's in piece, manageable pieces now that I can take to the scrap yard. And it won't ever, ever give anybody an ill towing experience ever again. Won't happen. But, so we're going to go ahead and we're losing our daylight. We're going to call this a video wrap. There again, if you guys, you know, these blades are literally $8 a piece. Now, by the time this video becomes two years old and you're watching it, they might be $10 a piece. I don't know. Right now, the fine blade, coarse blade, same price, $8 a piece, $15.99 uh, for a box of two. Uh, coarse blade versus fine blade. Rule of thumb, keep three teeth on your cutting surface at all time. So... All this stuff I've been cutting, easily enough coarse blade work. Did I use fine blade on the first three blades? Yes, I did. Why? Because I'm just, you know, getting used to this thing and, you know, let's see how it goes. Uh, anyway, you guys, like, subscribe, you know, leave some comments. 
What's your feedback if you've had one of these or have one of these? This thing already looks like it's got a few miles on it because I've been using it. I've literally made hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of cuts and uh, it's survived it all. And it doesn't even, it doesn't gripe one bit. How does it compare to a cordless model? I have no idea. I don't have one. Can I always, you know, I got a generator. I got, you know, this thing, for what I'm gonna use it for, I can get all my stuff to a power source and use it that way. Uh, I see the cordless ones are handy. A lot of people use them out in the trades. Guaranteed, it's good stuff. That's all there is to it. Well, I'm gonna finish cutting up some of this wood and maybe picking up my mess I made in the yard and get after the next project. Uh, well, after I finish this green machine here on the ground, uh, I tried to lift that up. It's still so heavy, I can't, ugh. That's a, that's, a, that's a lot of tubing there, a lot of metal left there. All right, guys, gals, have a good time. This is Michael saying if it ain't broke, <laughs> fix it till it is <laughs> and enjoy the crap out of it. See you guys later on the next video. Treat each other kind.